Hey guys, today I wanted to talk a little bit about exercises and uh, what we can realistically expect. Uh, it is clear to me that some people think that we should always get our patients to get immediately better, but that is actually clearly not the case. Many things have to get worse before they get better. Why is that? Well, let's say we have a muscle, say, uh, say the TFL for example, the tensor fasciolata. It is often quite weak, it can cause trochanteric bursitis and so on, it can just be a muscle pain. And if you know muscle testing, you can do a muscle test and you will see that if it's painful, it's usually very weak. So, you assign your patient to strengthen this muscle and they get worse, right? The, the bursitis gets worse, the, the pain in the muscle gets worse or whatever. And why is that and why do we have to keep going? <laughs> because if it has a very low work capacity, such a low work capacity that even walking causes this pain and discomfort, do we not have to expect that a certain rehabilitative measure will make it worse in the beginning, in the initial phase? Well, yes, of course we have to expect that. In the beginning, when we are exercising a muscle that is severely weak, we have to expect some perpetuation of the symptoms. And, and that's fine, that's absolutely fine. When we are dealing with nerve pain that is related to muscle issues, it will get worse before it gets better. The same with muscle pain. However, when we are working with joint pain, such as shoulder impingement, hip impingement, and so on, it should only get better because this is more of a mechanical, um, it has more of a mechanical cause of the, of the issue. For example, that the femoral head is not going backwards when it should or forward when it should. And we should not expect th things like this to, to get worse before it gets better. And this is why we have to know what we are treating. We cannot just uh, take a wild guess at what we are doing, just take a wild guess at what's causing the pain, wild guess at the exercises. No, we have to know what we are treating. And when we do that, we can also know what to expect when we are starting the rehabilitation. So I hope this has been inform informative. I think it's a very important topic. And uh, if you have any questions, please leave a comment below.